When now? Hi, my name's Leo. I've been skating for about three years, and I started skating pretty much when I moved to Seattle. I've always wanted to do a cross-country road trip and just like with my friends and do skateboarding and go, meet lots of new people and go to a lot of skate parks. And I've always wanted to travel in an RV, so just if you guys could help us out, that'd be great. Thanks. Hi, my name's Sean. Uh, I really love skating and I'd love to do cross country. I really want to see like the whole country because I've only really seen the east and the west coast. I've never really been anywhere in between. I really like to see what's in between. I'd like to see new, like the different skate scenes. It would be a really good, great opportunity to just see the whole country and just skate the whole country. Pretty. Anything would really help and we'd really appreciate it. Hi, I'm Neil. I wanted to tell you about being a skate dad. Growing up, my sons dabbled in baseball and soccer, but didn't really have that much interest in team sports. A few years ago, they took up skateboarding. We lived outside Asheville, North Carolina at the time, surrounded by mountains, but not many other kids to play with. When we got our dirt driveway paved, the boys started skating. This is my skate setup. Uh, this is a great board. As they improved, my wife and I began taking them to Food Lion Skate Park in Asheville. I'll never forget the day I watched Leo. I guess he was about eight or nine skating at this skate park in Asheville. He was trying some trick, just a, a roll in in a, uh, in a small bowl. Um, he was a little guy. There were all these older skaters around him, some of them my age or older. Um, and at first I was worried that the other skaters were going to get mad that this little guy was in their way. The closer I watched, the more I realized that they were actually pulling for him. He kept trying it and trying it and trying it, and, and this support kept building around him. And, and finally he nailed it, just rolled down the, the, the bowl and, and did a little trick. And, and this crew of skaters, who were all strangers to him and us, started clapping for him. And I was shocked by that. And, and, and that's when I realized that the boys had become part of this really uh, supportive and special culture. In 2008, we left North Carolina and moved to Seattle, Washington. And suddenly these two country boys who had been raised 20 minutes from their school and all their friends were in this uh, uh, skating mecca. And that's when their interest in the sport really exploded and took off. Visiting skate parks throughout Seattle became part of our, our daily life. Um, and, and in time, this, the boys' pursuit of this uh, unconventional sport became part of our uh, family's unconventional lifestyle. This is a park best skate spot I've ever seen. Now we build family vacations around visits to skate spots and skate parks. The boards come with us wherever we go and we typically choose skate friendly cities. So now our summer plan is to see America by visiting some of her skate parks and get a sense of what the, the broader skate culture of America is like right now. Give the boys this memorable skate themed father and son uh, journey before they become high schoolers. My name is Lou, my son Niall is a skate rat who uh, wants to see some of the world before uh, high school starts for him. And I grew up overseas and it definitely changed my life, so I'd like for him to get out of uh, his comfort zone a little bit before high school starts for him. So anything you guys can do to help would be great. Thank you. My awesome. name is Niall. I live just outside of D.C. in the suburbs. I love to skate. Not that much goes around here, so if you could help us, I would love to explore the country this summer. Tell stories all my friends when I get back right before I go into high school. If you could help us, please do. Thank you.